Mm -hmm. Anything you want to talk about. This is my daddy, mm -hmm. Daniel Joseph Bro okay. Senior, and he one of the last living great descendants um, that come from the Bros Broussard Lajon. You could pronounce it there. Long Yong. And and et cetera and et cetera. Cetera, But he's yeah. gonna tell you about the family. The family. And then he's gonna let you know because this is recorded for history folks. When the next generation comes, he can let you can be able to know what it's all about. And he speaks one of the last foreign language on the earth that is called Bayou French or Creole French. Right. And it's a dying language. Dying language, exactly. Okay, then I can start with the family uh, and uh, pass it on to the grand grandchildren and to the great grandkids. For the, is it for the uh, for the next generation to come and uh, so forth. I'd like to start off with the uh, far as I can go back into my family history and descendants and uh, and heirs uh, back from starting off. I'm going to start off with one of my great grandfather. Uh, he was an, an American, I guess, an American. Uh, his name was uh, Frank. Lyon. Uh, he was my great-grandfather. Uh, he was uh, born in the uh, Lydia, New Iberia, Louisiana, Lydia area, the Patuville. And uh, he's my great-grandfather and I want to share that with you guys. And then he has uh, his daughter that I have of my grandmother, which her name was uh, Virginia her name was Virginia Lyon, and she was uh, Frank Lyon's daughter, and uh, she's my grandmother, and then she had my mother, which is Mary, and this is her daughter called Mary Bro, uh, Broussard, and uh, she was born in the 1500s, uh, 18, uh, 18, uh, uh, 1914, like, 19, she was born in 1915, and I also have pictures of of my father, uh, his name is Dennis uh, Bro. Uh, he was born in uh, 1903 in the Lafayette Parish, Louisiana. And also I have a photo of his daddy. His name was uh, Eli Bro. Uh, he was uh, a farmer in the Broussard area for many years. Tell him a little bit about your grandpa, Eli Broke, um, daddy, and you know, a little history about him that you remember when he was a little boy. Okay, I can remember when he was a little boy. He was a farmer that I knew of, and he grew uh, all type of uh, um, uh, uh, things on the farm, like sugar cane. He was a cane farmer at the one time. He grew, uh, 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 he grew uh, ice potatoes, uh, corn, pepper and all uh, other sorts of, uh, of vegetable during the time that I can remember when I was a little boy and I can remember him doing that and uh, when he got of age uh, I knew him to be a very very intelligent man in some in speaking in some words and uh, he was always a uh, happy go along a happy man at all time he never did have any problem he was well recognized and uh, with the people that he was surrounded with, that he and, uh, he got along with everybody that was in his uh, vicinity where he was living on the Broussard area called the Bayou Tartee Road. And uh, that's where he resided from and so forth. And as you, when he, you used to be a little boy, and as you got older and his father, father. your father, I'm his son, right. used to make you go by to see. Right, exactly. I can mm -hmm. remember that. When I was a young boy, and this, this is my father, Dennis Bro, Eli Bro's son, that I can remember when my uh, father used to take me there to his father's place very often. And I used to uh, work on the uh, farm as a young boy. I used to cut the wood for the fireplace <laughs> in them days there. So they taught me a lot of things, and I'm glad, I'm glad I did learn a lot of things as I came up into life. And uh, so I can remember that what in the past that I can remember since I was a young boy. And I also have a picture of someone else in the family. Uh, let's see, I think I'm not too sure if this, this is on my mother's side, which is one of my great uncle. Uh, he was uh, named Oscar Lyon, mm -hmm. and he was uh, also a very nice man at the time I can remember him yep one of my great uncles and there he, I enjoy 
the time that I had, but they taught me. They taught me when I was a young boy a lot of things in life and how to be nice with other yep. people. And he used to talk about when we were little, my daddy used to take us to see our great uncles, and then right. all he did was speak French. Right, he did and, at the mm -hmm. time. Was and he, what do you talk about, daddy? What's my top food? Oh, uh, yeah, he, saw, he had a joke where he used to talk with the camera, uh, where he used to make jokes, and they used to say it, uh, about old stories and old time. And then he used to call, uh, he had a, a little. Uh, um, <laughs> Comedy, uh, a thing he liked to say all the time. He would say it in <laughs> French all the time. He said, uh -huh. uh, yeah, uh, Uncle Oscar would say, ma tapu, pa tapu, <laughs> <laughs> In French, I guess. And what that me. mean, that in English? Well, I don't know exactly. It's mean like... Uh, the devil got you by the tail? The devil got you by the tail, or you come see, are you, are you here... Or you there, or you? What's your name, or what's what? Oh, uh, that's what it was. It was like a name he would say, like a uh, matapu means sort of uh, matapu means say, sort of crazy, like. Oh, <laughs> yes, <at the> time. <laughs> that's what, so he he was was like, so what he was talking about. That's what he was talking about at the time he was living. At the time I remember him and so forth. And he was always a well dressed oh, man. Always a well dressed man and very polite with the other people and well recognized with the people that he associated with at the time. Mm -hmm. And also I have a picture of. Uh, his his sister, oh. which is uh, and my grandfather Adolf Broussard mm -hmm. and Virginia Lyon, and uh, my grandmother and grand and grandfather, and this is the uh, uh, my mother here is the daughter of uh, Adolf Broussard and and Virginia Lyon, mm -hmm. and this is a picture of my mom when she was a young girl. Yes. I guess Mama must have been about what, sixteen years old at the time. Look like it. It was a long time ago. Uh -huh. Sixteen years old. And then whenever we were growing up, my daddy here would always take us to see his um, family. And then I got the pleasure of meeting my great grandma Toot. Uh huh. And great grandma Toot had a um, pot belly stove. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and Wood stove at the time. Yeah, inside in of her days. kitchen. And I also have another picture of. Mm -hmm. One of my grandfather's brother, if I think I can recognize him. Yes. Yeah, he looks like one of my great uncle. I would call him Uncle Adam. Adam Broussard. Could be possible that my great uncle at the time, one of my grandfather's brother. He was also a very nice man at the mm -hmm. time that I knew him when I was a young boy. Oh. I didn't get to really know him very well, but I always did remember when my grandfather would speak to me, he said, Well, that was one of my brothers that was uh uh, that's one of your great uncles, one of my brothers, that's your great uncle, uh, mm -hmm. Adam Broussard. I think I can remember that we had his name oh. at the time. Now, and I also have some more pictures of, mm -hmm. uh, on my father's side now. Mm -hmm. uh, these guys here, this is the guys I like, I really <laughs> want to <laughs> put on Facebook. <laughs> these guys here, they tell me they were my distant cousin. I don't know if it was one of my great uncles children. Oh. Uh, they were uh, guys that liked to do rascality things at the time, but they were all, uh, they was always in some type of mystery and so forth that I heard about them, <laughs> but uh, well, well as I do, but they do uh, uh, very good looking boys. nice looking guys mm -hmm. that was always friendly with people, I presume, because the way they say they were bad boys, but I don't think they were bad boys because they didn't look that bad to they me didn't. <laughs> at the uh -huh. time. So in other words, and then they died at a young age. And they died at a young age. I'm yes. also kind yes. of saying that these yes. guys died at a young age. age. And I'll take the odds uh, on the bro on the last name on the bro side. Okay, bro but side. you didn't really know their name. I, I didn't really okay. know their name yes. at the time, but mm -hmm. I, uh, I understood. I used to hear the family speak of them uh -huh. at the time. Oh yes. When I was buried. This is this is a very old photo here back in the days. Yes. I guess in the early 1900s mm -hmm. or so. And yes. Uh, so these guys here were distant. I'll call them like distant cousins and so forth. Mm -hmm. And I also have some more pictures on my father's side, and my uh, grand grandmother, my grandmother's uh, people. Mm -hmm. Her name was uh, my grandmother. My dad's mom. Her name was uh, Amelia Joa. Oh. And I have a photo of it, but it's on the wall. I'm gonna zoom in so that y'all can see the picture yeah. of my.